Well, good morning, folks. Uh, today I will be doing a review of my uh, seats that I started last week, lettuce seats that I started last week. Uh, I began three methods. I sprinkled some on the ground uh, on, a, on a raised bed. I began some in recyclable containers, uh, basically just uh, little plastic containers that come where, where strawberries come in or blueberries, and little, little containers that would otherwise go to the recycle bin. And uh, I also began some on, on, on some trays that I bought, Jiffy, I believe some brand, and they have 72 cells in them, and they're water from the bottom. So I began those three methods and uh, to see which ones would sprout faster, which ones would do better. I really don't have much experience doing little containers for lettuces. I usually just throw them on the, on, on the, on the raised beds and, and they grow. A lot of times I just shake the, the when I let the lettuces go to seed and I shake them there and they just replant themselves the following season. So anyway, but at this time I decided to do some containers to see how it works and I'm going to give you a quick run, a quick rundown of the first uh, week. There were some lessons learned there, some mistakes on my part that I did with the with the self-watering container, the, the little 72 cell container that I used. I made a mistake there. It was a critical mistake and it, it basically had, I have to replant that one over because because of that mistake, which I'll just show you in a minute how that how how that's gonna work out. Last Saturday I did the three videos, um, different methods of, of starting letter seats. Uh, the first one is right here, and as you can see, these seats are very they sprouted and the shoots are very long, lanky. Uh, they went out fast. And there's a reason for that. I'll go into it right, right now in a minute. The seeds that I put in recycled containers and that I left outside in a, in a, in a place where they only get uh, half a day of sun, uh, they're still not sprouted. They're barely coming out. I don't know if you can see them there. There's one there that's barely breaking. They're barely breaking. So this is a little more encouraging. This is more the way it should be, I think. Uh, now, and the seeds that I have over there by the keyhole garden, well, they're also breaking, and I'll show you those in a minute. Here you have the, the seeds that I sprinkled by hand on this little piece of the of the keyhole garden, and this were done also on March 7 last week, and they're starting to come out. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, this camera has a problem with the focusing, so I don't wanna mess with that, but there they are. You, you can barely start seeing them, okay? So there's some advantages and disadvantages to all this here. And of course, the, the jury's still out because there's there's still a long, long way from becoming viable lettuces that, will, that one can eat. But at least uh, after seven days, we see what happened to all three methods. So as I mentioned the, earlier, these seeds here, this tray, this one has lettuce, uh, red lettuce, uh, kale, chard, uh, some eggplants here that haven't completely broken out so these I still have hope for and some beets and some ruby chard mustard greens spinach kale kale and uh, more kale okay so what's wrong with this tray I mean the, the, the little shoes came out the, they look long they're a little lanky well what happened is that I put the seats in the in, in the tray and I took it inside and I covered it and I put it in a rather dark spot, not not very well lit. It was only lit by a by a light bulb during in the kitchen when we were in the kitchen. And I put them on the on top of the fridge, so the warmth of the fridge uh, made the seeds break out very fast. Uh, you can see these other seeds; they haven't broken out so fast. Granted, these are a different kind. These are peppers and tomatoes. They break a little a little longer. But when you compare them to to these seeds that are also lettuces well these are barely breaking out okay so there's a big difference between these lettuces here and these seeds here that broke out and they they just went out shooting out right so what happens is that um, the warmth over the fridge kind of prompted the seeds to break out fast and there was not enough light and I got careless I, I thought they were gonna take about a week to, to, to sprout so my ten, my intention was to go check them out in, in about a week and then if they were already barely breaking out, I could just take them out into the light and, and they would take it from there. Well, guess what? Last night I checked them and they were all like this. I said, oops. Well, these, these were no longer good. These, I mean, these little shoes are good for a salad, but that's about it. 
they're dead already and what happens is that the seed breaks out and uh it's starting to find it's trying to find light desperately it's like somebody at the bottom of a pool trying to get to the top you know they're, they're just running full speed to the, to the top in search of air in search of light and uh, these plants did not find that they were in a dark space so they broke out and they were desperately the seed was desperately shooting up to to find light and never found light now now it's too late now even if i leave them out there for light they're long and lanky and they're gonna die i mean that's that's just the end of that so i got careless this was my fault but the the, the straight did work it does, it does it does work nicely uh, you just got to be more careful either you put a, a growing light above them if you're going to have them in a darker space or you put them by next to a window and you kind of wait a little longer for them to to break out when without with the absence of a of a heat source underneath them uh, so that's pretty much it um, a seed is like a little it's like a little store of energy a little store of energy with a dna map in it <laughs> uh, it knows exactly what to do it finds the conditions it finds warmth it finds it finds moisture and it breaks out but it's gonna go looking for light, and that's a, the, that's what these these uh, little seeds did. They broke out and they, they started looking for light, and they couldn't find it, and they kept on growing, and they kept on growing, and now they got to this this stage where they're just real weak and long, and they're gonna die. Look at the wind move them around. I mean, these are these seeds are no good anymore. I mean, the, the, the seeds the seeds on, uh, for these for this tray have spent all their energy uh, trying to look for the light and the warmth, and they never found it, and that was my fault. Uh, other seeds they break out and as soon as they break out they they just the leaves start absorbing a uh, light and they start building roots and then the seeds energy goes to building that little those, those little first uh, leaves like uh, like these little type of leaves you know these little leaves are it's what the, the the purpose of the seed is to 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 build these little leaves here then it sheds those leaves and it goes on like for example like look at these these tomatoes here uh, now they have their, their regular leaves on them right they uh, when they first uh, when they first uh, come out they they have these little these little leaves that they lose eventually and they change they, they sh shed those little leaves and, and they get these other leaves here so that's the, that's the point of the, the of the seed it has a little store of energy and, and a little map to life you know <laughs> and that, that little map says when you break out go look for the Sun okay and build your roots use, use use this little store of energy that you have inside of you to build roots and put up some leaves for the for the sun to for them to absorb light and help you build the, the plant and uh, these seeds well they did not get the sun and they just went up 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 like a drowning person you know trying to seek the surface and they unfortunately got to them a little too late and well they're, they're nothing i'm gonna have to replant this whole bed so lessons learned uh be careful when you put your your seeds inside because uh, if this happens to you don't even waste your time don't don't think that you're either going to recover or anything they're dead i mean just put them in a salad eat them move on uh, this happened to me a long time ago it shouldn't be happening to me it shouldn't be happening to me this late in the game you know i've been doing this for a long time but the fact is that i don't really use trays too much to plant stuff i just sow directly into the into, into the soil I've, I've always had good results with that and um i, I wanted to try these trays and uh, well i got careless so it's a matter of timing. It's no fault of the trace. It's no fault of the seed. It's just the gardener here. It's just, it's just uh, I get careless basically. So anyway, folks, I hope you learn from this. I told you before. I'm going to show you the, the the good and the bad about, about gardening. Uh, so I make mistakes. I probably make more mistakes than most people out there, but I just keep trying and I keep trying and uh, eventually I get it right. Okay. So get get started learning to garden right now uh, this is an important lesson here you know that uh, if you're holding seeds for an emergency well I'll have my I'll have my store of seeds if, if something happens uh, if, uh, if you know if the, if the zombies wake up from the dead and, <laughs> and we need to plant the garden in an emergency have my seeds well first of all those those seeds may not be that good by then second if you don't know how to harden if you don't know how to garden you may end up with this exactly you're gonna end up with this exactly you know and then, then by then your seeds are gone and you're in a you're in a familiar creek without a paddle so just uh keep that in mind folks thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this little video goodbye